In this video we're going to be, one, fixing a bug that I completely didn't think about or and overlooked in our uh, crouching setup, as well as modifying our sprinting function, or our walking forward, right, etc., to not be affected by our walking, our sprinting setup, if that makes sense. So we are going to, when we crouch, we're going to be crouching and moving at full speed. So, for example, I crouch, this bug is going to be fixed. This bug also does not appear on other clients due to the replication, as you can see. But we are going to fix the speed. So we are no longer going to be able to sprint like this, where instead we're going to be crouching at this speed all the time, instead of having to hold shift. So, to get started, here's where we need to set up our differences. So we're going to move forward and our move right. The way we have it set up is if we check, we check if we're sprinting. So if we're not sprinting, meaning we're walking, we modify while well, we divide our uh, movement speed value by half. So we're just having it. So what we want to check is if we're, crouch we're not crouching as well. So if we are crouching, this is never going to run. So we're going to simply do B is sprinting, well, not sprinting and not get movement or get character movement is crouching meaning we are not crouching and we're going to do the same thing in our move right so if we are not sprinting and we are not crouching then we will be walking otherwise if we are sprinting we're going to be going at full speed and same thing if we're crouching because this is going to be false now, I'm just going to go ahead and do these separately. I'm going to go ahead and build. Move to our crouch function here. And I'll explain what's going on as to why we're having that issue. So, as you can see, the crouch speed is fixed. I spam shift, nothing happens. But I can still sprint and all that. So, back here, to fix the bug where we go into the ground, which is happening by us essentially crouching and standing twice. Uh, for whatever reason, just calling crouch and uncrouch without modifying this boolean here does not seem to want to work in my case. I'm not sure what the issue is, but simply remove our crouch and uncrouch call so that way it's just we're modifying the boolean and the movement component. And this will fix our issue, as well as it will maintain and continue its replication for other clients to see that we are in fact crouching, standing, etc. So here, get in front of them, crouch, and as you can see, the issue is completely gone. We do have a slight issue that we're going to have to fix later on. Actually, we can do that now, but as you can see, I'm crouching when I'm jumping. The other clients, actually he can kind of see it too. It uh, it tries to crouch while we're in the air. We can very easily fix that by doing, so check if we're crouching first, or not crouching, and check if we're in the air. So get character movement, falling. So if we are not crouched and we are not falling, then we can crouch. I scrolled. Oh well. Alright, let's try it out. Jump and spam crouch. Nothing happens. I jump, hold crouch. Just nothing happens until we're on the ground. Alright. And that should get rid of the jitteriness on the other client as well. Yep, because it's no longer triggering, so we're good to go there. So. Now we have proper transitions for our crouching standing, as well as our crouched movement speed, and the same goes for when we have a weapon in hand. It is no longer affected at all. So, uh, let's just do a quick reiteration for our movement speed. We check if we are not crouching. If we are not crouching and we are not sprinting, we can modify the speed value by half to meaning we are walking. Otherwise, we're moving at full movement speed, such as sprinting or being crouched. As for our crouching, to get rid of that bug, 
we are no longer double crouching by calling eh, I'm not going to bother control seeing it by not calling our well toggling our boolean which does the action as well as calling a crouch function again on the client which pretty much double crouches and then double stands if that makes sense uh, to fix the being able to crouch and kind of stutter yourself while you're jumping we simply do a check so if we are not falling well, if we are not crouching, first off, it's not going to run. If we are crouch, trying to crouch, or uh, sorry, and if we are not falling, then we simply are not going to run any of this to try to crouch. So we're only going to be able to crouch when we're actually on the ground. So that should kind of clean it up, make it a little bit nicer, and I will see you in the next video.